Hey everybody, this is Craig Shackleton from Ottawa Swordplay. As promised and inspired by Christian Cameron's uh, series of uh, videos on drawing swords and similar things to that, I'm going to talk a little bit today about bucklers. Um, and uh, I'm going to start out by talking a little bit about how we hang the buckler. I should mention, as you can see, our training space is currently undergoing renovations. You may hear little noises in the background and we're just going to have to put up with that. Uh, also, I'm not wearing a fancy medieval outfit because all my stuff is packed away and uh, uh, yeah, that, that's just the way it is. So, um, to begin with, uh, I'm wearing the scabbard for one of my swords. It's actually for a Grosse Messer, which hangs a little bit differently from the sword scabbards that Christian's been showing uh, because these ones actually do hang straight down the leg, but this is what I had available. So, um, this is my favorite buckler. It's an ugly thing, but uh, it is really well made, very nice. I'll talk about it a little bit more. But you can see that on the inside, there's this little cord uh, that comes across the handle. And we see these set up this way across the length of it, or along the length of the handle. We also sometimes see just a single loop at the end here. And this uh, is to retain the buckler on your scabbard between the sword and the scabbard itself. So how does this work? So <clears throat> the first thing is I'm just going to take that string and I'm going to loop it over the top of my scabbard here like this. You can see and now even without the sword there the scabbard can hold it up. So when I put the sword in it's actually retained in place. Everything is held together in one single place. Now, if this were a sword, we do see gross messers like this with bucklers sometimes, but more often it is a proper sword. Um, it would hang at a little bit more of an angle, but one of the nice things about this, and it's a little bit hard to get a good angle on this, is that when I put my hand in to grab the buckler handle, I can also tilt the messer handle forward so that when I draw it, the buckler immediately comes free. So this is a super easy way to keep your buckler connected with your sword. And uh, I don't train putting away my sword without looking uh, as Christian does. I will have to practice that in the future because it is pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, with this together, it hangs fairly well. I can move around fairly easily. And then I just have to reach in behind, grab the buckler handle and the scabbard, pull out the sword, buckler is free. So, I'm going to put aside the messer and talk about bucklers. And uh, they come in different shapes and sizes, different materials. Um, got some with wood and leather and steel. Uh, I love this fancy shape, although, as I'm going to talk about, it's got that curved handle, which I hate. Um, and then we have terrible, terrible modern reproductions like this with this U-shaped handle in the back. So why is that bad? Well, anybody who trains with swords can tell you that you don't want to brick your sword too tightly. And the same is true of your buckler. But when I'm holding a buckler with a U-handle, in order to control it at all, I have to grip it. There's nothing else except for my tight grip holding that in place. This particular buckler is also grossly overweight. It's like a manhole cover. Uh, so this buckler, my hand goes in and it sits flush and you can see I can hold my hand wide open and the counter pressure actually holds the buckler in place very nicely. And I can do that in a fairly relaxed grip. And this is also important because Christian's video yesterday, he talked about how holding this out here, I can cover quite a lot. And that's true. Now if I'm holding this in a grip like this, I can twist into a fist and uh, square that up very easily and especially if I over rotate my hand so that I'm over pronated I can change the angle but with my hand like this I can rotate the buckler to any angle and here when I've got the buckler inverted with that nice relaxed grip it's very simple for me to straighten it in and create that block but right now my line of sight is clear and I can interpose this in the way of my opponent at any time. Uh, this is not in every historical source. 
Um, but it is a big part of some of the early Lichtenauer adjacent sources that I work with. So that's a little bit on uh, carrying a buckler, retrieving, I guess you don't draw a buckler, and uh, also how you grip and pull the buckler. Hope that was useful, and sorry the video is a little bit rough, but uh, <laughs> that's the way it is right now.